there. Today, I'm going to share with you my go-to secrets when it comes to creating your own color palette. Whenever I'm creating a color palette, I am looking for six to eight colors to use. And this is what I always keep in mind. I want one pop of color. So that's going to be your call to action color. And then I want one to two supporting colors. And then I keep the remainder of the colors neutral. Let me show you what I mean. Your main pop of color you choose will be your call to action color. And then you're going to have two supporting colors. These are the sidekick colors for your brand just to keep things visually interesting. And so you have some variety when you're creating any of the design work that you need to create. Next, you're going to add neutrals. So when you think of neutral colors, they're the whites, the creams, grays, tans, the very lightest version of your call to action color. That is what your color palette includes. Two of my favorite resources that I use when I'm creating color palettes is coolers.co and of course Canva. Let me show you a couple of ways that I use these two different platforms. Go to coolers.co and go here to tools. This is a free resource. Come here to image picker and you can actually upload your own inspiration picture and pull the colors from there. So let me show you how to do that. I have an image saved on my computer, so I'm going to say browse image and I'm going to go grab that and I'm going to drop it here. You can see that it's picked up different colors from the image, but I can also, if I click on this dot, I can move it around and pull the color that I was going for. Um, when I chose this picture, I really liked the light blue and the the pinks and the corals and the creams in the background. So that's what I'm trying to pull out here. Once you find what you want from the image, you can say export palette and just save it as an image. And that image saves the hex codes. The hex code is the magic formula that will help you create that color for your color palette. You can see that I opened up this image and here are my hex codes right there. I can add those into Canva and I can use those for my color palette. Canva also has plenty of resources for different color palettes that you can use. Um, I'm going to put a link for this um, in the description of this video and in your email so that you can click on this and be taken to this page in Canva. It's the color palette generator. So there's plenty of color combinations you can explore here. You can create your own and they also have an image picker as well. It didn't work quite as well as coolers yet, um, but you can upload an image and it picks four colors out, but you're not able to go customize and be specific about the color that you're pulling out. But that is a way to find hex codes staying in Canva the whole time. Once you have your color palette chosen and you're ready to go, add that to your brand kit in Canva so you will be very consistent about what hex codes you use each time so you don't have to go searching for them every time you go to create a design. All right, take care and we'll see you next time.